Welcome everyone to the DNC Real Estate Show. I'm D. I'm C. What's going on, man? Been a while. Yep. You have yeah. a nice vacation? It was good, man. My niece graduated. Got to spend a little time with my daughter in Texas and, yeah. you know, my grandchild. It was beautiful, man. It was, it was a long drive, man. I couldn't fly, man. I, I was I looking <laughs> forward to spending time in Texas and I couldn't fly. <laughs> they said if I fly, my daughter was going to be in 14-day quarantine. So, you know, I had the tickets, me and my son, and then I just, you know, just like, hey, let me go rent a car. Let me just drive out there, and I spent some time with my niece. She graduated. I'm so happy for her. And my granddaughter, was beautiful, nice family. You know how it is. So our topic today, why real estate? Why now? What's going on in real estate? Well, let's talk a little bit about that. We can converse sure. a little bit about that. Um, so, can you tell me a little bit about the market? What's going on in your estimation? Well, what we see going on in the market right now, uh, we talked a little bit before before we got on air about the commercial side. Yes. And commercial real estate right now is really hurting because a lot of people that own buildings have not been getting money, unfortunately, from the renters. Right. Restaurants haven't been open. Right. Strip malls haven't been open. Mm -hmm. And that's really been a, a big challenge. Um, the Stapleton Punch Bowl we just talked about is closing down and never coming back. Wow. That's because we're seeing a lot of companies, even though some that got the PPP money, that money's not gonna last, and they haven't paid their rent, haven't paid their employees, and that's been a challenge. Yes. On the residential side, the Safer at Home order you know, things have loosened up a little bit, so nice. we're, we're starting to see an increase in application because interest rates are low. People are able to go out and see houses now, which they weren't yes, able absolutely. to do before. Mm -hmm. And, you know, so we're starting to see things really, really start to pick up. We're right in the middle of a, a summer move, and we're really starting to get busy. Right, right. What are you starting to see on your side, David? Man, it's been hot. I mean, hot. I mean... The problem is I got my buyers have been showing my buyers some stuff and man, it's five, six, seven, eight offers on every property. Yep. I mean, it's kind of crazy right We're now. Back to it. You know, yes, I mean, sir. we back at it. If you're in that affordable house range up to 400,000, it is crazy. Yeah. And you know, it's still, it's a big demand out there for houses in that, that point. But in, in regards to commercial, man, it, you know, that's one of the things we talked a little bit about what's going to get hit the hardest because just think man everybody's working at home you know you know the business is trying to you know virtual cannot we can do the zoom we can do the google we can do microsoft teams so everybody is getting commercial might be in trouble and small businesses that have restaurants and all that other stuff they got to deal with 25 percent capacity right now oh i mean it's tough but on that residential side, it, it's an uptick. I, I, you know, home ownership has always been up. But when rates are at historical lows right now, you know, people's like, hey, you know, you know, the millenniums right now is like, hey, it's real, real low. Let me get something right now. If you still got a job, right, that's you, the key. You get in the house, you know, yeah. and, and you're still and, working, and they're going overpriced. So you know, I'm just hoping these appraisals matches up. I put on. My listing, man. I, I, you know, I was working out there in Texas, man. You know, I had a million dollar listing, and put it on Friday. I had three offers on Monday on a million dollar listing. Yeah, that's pretty rare at that wow. kind of price point. That's you know, for sure. That, I mean, that's crazy, man. I, mean, I didn't think it would be this quick, you know. Sure. You know. <laughs> I, talk, I talk about interest rates. Um, the Fed chairman came out today and said he's going to keep rates low, near zero, for the foreseeable future. So we still see rates low, and he's talking about things being low for a while wow. until he starts to see the economy kind of start to turn back around. Well, guess what? It's election year also, too, so think about it. Well, yeah. yeah, that's got a little bit to do. I, I don't care where it was. Every time it's election year, for whatever reason, that rate always tend to go, tend to go down a little bit. You know, no matter what year you are, if it's election year, it tends to go down a little bit. I've been noticing. <laughs> sure. Yeah, they, they try to keep it low because, you know, the incumbent wants to kind of try and stay in. Biden's got a big lead right now in the polls, and, you know, we just have to wait and see what happens. Okay. Any, any other things we want to talk about? 
I think I'm good on my side. How about I'm, you? I'm good on my side, man. Hey, it's been a pleasure. Welcome back. We back, and we're going to start doing our weekly stuff again. But I need a notification, though. <laughs> yeah, we were only off for a week. But yeah, I think we need another vacation, too. It's going to be tough to travel here coming oh, up. So absolutely. So, we'll why don't you give me your information? Hey, reach out to me, Calvin Mallard at Fairway Independent Mortgage. Call me direct at 720 364 9726. Apply online at loansbycalvin.com. Google me on Facebook at Loans by Calvin. How about you, David? All right, David Babineau, Caldwell Banker. Phone number is 303-903-0395. You can uh, go to my website, mynewhomeincolorado.com, or hit me up on social media, The Real Estate Man 24-7. Have a blessed day, everyone. Be safe, everybody. All right, take care. Bye-bye.